Despite its widespread usage, the kaffir lime faced controversy due to its name. The term kaffir was historically used as a derogatory racial slur in certain regions. To address this issue, many people and organizations have started using the alternative name makrut lime to promote cultural sensitivity and respect. The makrut lime, or citrus hystrix previously known as the kaffir lime, is a unique citrus fruit that is native to Southeast Asia, particularly Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. It is highly valued for its aromatic leaves, zest, and tangy juice, which are commonly used in various culinary dishes. The sourness of the makrut lime is one of its defining characteristics and plays a crucial role in culinary applications. The fruit's sour flavor is highly concentrated and vibrant, making it a sought-after ingredient in Southeast Asian cuisines. The juice of the makrut lime has a sharp and tangy taste, similar to other citrus fruits but with a distinctive intensity. What sets the makrut lime apart is not just its sourness but also its unique aromatic profile. The zest and leaves of the makrut lime contain essential oils that contribute to its strong, citrusy fragrance, which further enhances the overall sensory experience when used in cooking. Please don't forget to like the video and please hit the subscribe button so you never miss our daily video uploads. Also, do leave a comment below suggested which fruit you'd like to know more about. Thank you. It's important to note that the sourness of the makrut lime is potent, and a little goes a long way. Its juice is typically used sparingly to avoid overpowering the other ingredients in a dish. However, when used judiciously, it can bring a delightful burst of sourness and freshness to various culinary creations. The history of the makrut lime is intertwined with the rich cultural traditions of Southeast Asia. Its origins can be traced back to ancient times when it was believed to have been brought to the region by Indian traders. Over the centuries, the makrut lime became deeply rooted in the local cuisines and traditional medicine practices of these countries. One fascinating aspect of the makrut lime's history is its significance in Thai culture. In Thailand, the fruit and its leaves hold great importance and are considered sacred. They are associated with prosperity, good luck, and protection against evil spirits. The makrut lime leaves are often used in various religious and ceremonial rituals, including offerings and blessings. Beyond its cultural significance, the makrut lime has also made a significant impact in the culinary world. Its distinct flavor profile, characterized by its strong citrusy aroma and tangy taste, adds a unique dimension to a wide range of dishes. Thai, Indonesian, and Malaysian cuisines feature the makrut lime prominently in various recipes, such as soups, curries, salads, and desserts. The zest and leaves are often used to enhance the flavors of these dishes, providing a refreshing and aromatic twist. In recent years, the makrut lime has gained popularity beyond Southeast Asia and has become sought after in international cuisine. Its leaves, zest, and juice are now used in fusion dishes and cocktails around the world, adding a touch of exoticness and complexity to culinary creations. Apart from its culinary and cultural significance, the makrut lime also has a lesser-known use in traditional medicine and aromatherapy. In certain Southeast Asian countries, the essential oil derived from the makrut lime's leaves and peel is believed to possess various health benefits. It is often used topically or in aromatherapy practices to alleviate symptoms such as muscle aches, insect bites, and even respiratory conditions like coughs and colds. The oil is valued for its invigorating and refreshing properties, which are thought to promote relaxation, mental clarity, and overall well-being. So, besides being a delightful addition to culinary creations, the makrut lime also holds potential therapeutic qualities that have been recognized and utilized in traditional medicine practices.